Good afternoon boys and girls here i come again with merchant of venice class 10 syllabus act 3 act 4 and act 5 class 10 syllabus act 3 scene 1 has been completed and if you know what has happened in act 3 scene 1 antonio is in dire straits meaning he is in deep waters he is in great trouble Antonio's ships have been wrecked. Shylock has caught him, and Shylock will certainly punish him. That is, take a pound of flesh from Antonio's body. Act three, scene two, is the last of the trial scene, where Bassanio gets to choose the casket. and of course we know that he chooses the right casket. After all, he is the hero of the play. Act three has five scenes. Act three, scene two, is quite a long scene. Act three, scene three and four are short scenes, extremely short scenes. And act three, scene five. Before we go to act four, where Antonio's trial in the court of Venice is seen, we go through the less serious scenes though act 3 scene 2 is serious because bassanio chooses the right casket and portia chooses her husband and all according to her father's will now in this particular scene portia it is belmont if you see i have parked belmont i have highlighted belmont and the scene takes place in portia's house we have portia Bassanio, Rashiano, Nerissa, and the attendants. Portia, we know, is in love with Bassanio, and she doesn't want to lose him. She is not sure, just like others. She is not sure whether Bassanio will choose the right casket, and if he chooses the wrong casket, then she will have to lose him forever. She doesn't want to, but does she have any choice? No. He has to choose a casket since he has come here as a suitor to Portia. So Portia wants to elongate this stay with Bassanio, wants him to stay for a while, wants to talk to him, wants to share her feelings with him before he ventures out and chooses the casket. So in this particular scene, Portia is doing exactly that. She is requesting Bassanio to wait for. some more time she says portia says i pray you tarry pray request tarry the meaning of the word tarry is wait pause a day or two before you hazard the meaning of the word hazard is to take the risk or before you gamble choosing the right casket is like a gamble so before you take the risk i want you to wait for a day or two because in choosing wrong i lose if you choose the wrong casket i will lose your company therefore forbear a while meaning of the word forbear wait a while just wait some time for a while because if you choose the wrong casket i will lose your company there's something tells me but it is not love i would not lose you and you know yourself hate counsels not in such a quality she as a girl cannot tell bassanio straight that i love you there is something which tells me and i know it is not love but there's something in me which tells me that i would not like to lose you and you know hate counsels counsels meaning advises not in such a quality that is if i were to hate you i would not advise you let's stay for a while so in a very indirect way she is saying that she loves him not directly though but lest you should not understand me in case you do not understand me well enough and yet a maiden hath no tongue but thought a maiden has no way of expressing herself except her thoughts except her expressions she cannot say anything to express herself she only has to express it through her thoughts i would detain you meaning of the word detain keep you back 
for month or two not just day one month or two months i want to keep you back before you venture for me before you go out and take the risk for me i wish i could teach you how to choose she really wishes because she knows which casket her portrait has been placed so i could teach you how to choose right but then i am forsworn i have promised so i can never tell you so you will have to miss me if you choose the wrong casket you will have to lose me but if you do you would make me wish that i had been forsworn i have promised but if you do choose the wrong casket then you would wish that i committed the sin of breaking the promise and telling you which casket is the right casket that i had been forsworn that i had been forsworn you would have wished that i would committed the sin of breaking my promise forsworn meaning promise bishru your eyes that have overlooked me and divided me bishru means shame on your eyes why shame on her, the eyes because your eyes have overlooked me they have the meaning of the word overlooked they have charmed me they have cast a magical spell on me and they have divided me of one half of mine is yours the other half is yours so in totality i am all yours but if mine then yours and so all yours oh these naughty times put bars upon between the owners and their rights oh these naughty times put bars your eyes have bewitched me your eyes have charmed me your eyes have overlooked me so one half of portia is basanio the other half is also basanio so the entire portia is basanios But look at these naughty times look at these wicked times because there is a obstacle there is a bar and what is this bar this bar is in the form of the casket so these times are so wicked that there is an obstacle between the owners and what they want what is their right i have to overcome these obstacle and this obstacle is the three casket and so do know yours right i am all yours but the casket comes in between so i cannot be yours till you choose the right casket overcome the obstacle and choose me as your wife let fortune go to hell for it and i speak too long if the question is asked why does portia speak so much to pierce the time to ache it and draw it out in length to pierces the time to draw out the time you know to elongate the time to stretch the time to ache it out to add more and more time to it and so that there is a lot a lot of time and i can wait for you so that there is a lot of time lots of time as we say and i can be with you to stay you from election what is the meaning of stay you to hold you back from election election means to make a choice so why does portia speak so long to pierce the time to ache it and to draw it out in length these three points so that she can stretch the time as much as possible add more time to it so that she can hold back basanio from making a choice okay continuing basanio says let me choose for i am i live upon the rack before basanio chooses the casket you know this intermission period this interval period it's just like when you go into an examination hall and you don't get the question paper this interval period between getting the question paper and reading the question paper is just like a torture in this interval period between choosing the casket and knowing which casket portia's portrait has been kept is like a rack now what is a rack rack was a an instrument of torture where people used to be put the head used to be put and the head was cut 
so i live upon the rack meaning i am being tortured here not physically but it is like a torture that same experience that a student goes in the examination hall when he or she is to get the examination period, uh, paper that mid period is like a torture so this period between choosing the casket and knowing which casket is the right casket is like a torture i live upon the rack upon the rack pasanio then confess what treason there is mingled with your love why does she say so because when the person was placed on that instrument of torture he was given the chance to confess confess your crime and perhaps then you would be your your punishment could be made less so since you have said you live upon the rack then you must say what treason what have you done to be on the rack basanio says none i have committed no treason treachery gaddari as we say treason aapne kya gaddari ki ki hai so none but that ugly treason of mistrust he cannot trust himself he's not sure whether he's going to choose the right casket or not nothing but that ugly treason of mistrust which makes me fear the enjoying of my love you know when you don't trust yourself will i be able to do the paper well or not will i be able to do the paper well or not if you have that mistrust in you what happens you cannot enjoy the fact that you have actually done and you have actually studied the paper the subject well so i have this reason of mistrust which is making me fear the enjoying of my love there may be as well amity amity means friendship and life between snow and fire as treason and my if there is a friendship between snow and fire so likewise if there could be a friendship between snow and fire there could be a friendship between treason and my love a but i fear you speak upon the rack remember you are upon the rack where men are in force or forced to say whatever they want to okay i will say whatever i want to promise me life and i'll confess promise me that you you'll give me life and i will confess the truth well confess and live live meaning confess whatever you have to and your life will be spared here live meaning your life will be spared you confess and your life is thus spared anyway what does basanio say confess and love had been not confess and live i would confess and get my love that had been the very sum of my confession oh happy torment when my torturer that teach me answers you are my torturer basanio's torturer is poshia and poshia is telling me the answers to free myself for delivering myself oh let me to my fortunes and the caskets so how wonderful is this torture torment meaning torture how wonderful is this torture because the person who is torturing me she is mentally torturing him isn't it person who is torturing me is also teaching me how to say the right answers anyway let me see what my fortune or what my luck is and let me be led to the caskets Poshia knows that Basanio has to go to the casket, so she says, "Away then! I am locked in one of them. My portrait, my picture, is in one of the three caskets—the gold, silver, or lead. If you do love me, you will find me out." Nerissa and the rest stand aloof, aloof, stand a little away. let music sound while he that make his choice then if he lose he makes a swan like end so here see poshia is giving him a clue she had given a clue to the prince of morocco or aragon music will sound and if the music becomes less fades he knows that he is losing if the music is sounded at a high pitch he knows that he will 
win. So let music sound while Masanyu is making his choice. If he loses, he makes a swan-like end. Now here is this particular phrase called swan-like end. There was a belief at that time that a swan sings only once, just before it dies. So he will make a swan-like end. If he loses, he this will be his last appearance. He will make a swan-like end and fading in music. Then the comparison may stand more proper. My eye shall be the stream and watery deathbed for him. Just like the water on which the swan floats is the deathbed for the swan. Why or how when the swan sings, he, it dies there. So just like the water is the swan, for the swan is the deathbed for him. As Basanyu is making his choice, Poshia will, if he makes a wrong choice, Poshia will cry and her tears will be the deathbed for Basanyu. So, if he makes a wrong choice, my eye shall be the stream and watery deathbed for him. If he makes the wrong choice, I will cry and that will be Basanyu's deathbed. If he wins, what will the music be? If he loses, the music will be less and less. It will fade. But if he wins, then that time, what will the music sound like? The music is, even as the flourish when true subjects bow to a new crowned monarch. See the words here. Flourish, new crowned monarch. When, if the music, sounds high then it will sound like a flourish what is a flourish flourish is a trumpet okay when the king enters the court the trumpet is sounded and the subjects bow down before the newly crowned monarch so fading music meaning he is losing loud music is he is winning the loud music will be as loud as the sound of the trumpet that is blown and the subjects bow down before the newly crowned monarch. Such it is as are those dulcet sounds, the meaning of word dulcet meaning sweet sounds in the break of day that creep into the dreaming bridegroom's ears and summon him to marriage. So. It will be loud music. One example is the loud music of the trumpet which blows, which is sounded when the subjects bow down before the newly crowned monarch. And it will be a loud music, as loud as the wedding music, the sweet notes that is sounded at the break of the day in the morning for the bridegroom to hear and tell him that his marriage day has arrived. So if the music fades, it means Basanyo is losing. If the music is loud, it means Basanyo is winning. As loud as the trumpet that is sounded and the true subjects bow before the newly crowned monarch or as sweet as the marriage sound that summoned the dreaming bridegroom and tell him that his marriage morning has arrived. Now Basanyo goes forward towards the casket. So she says now he goes with no less presence but with much with no less presence. His presence is very much there and his love also there. Basanyo here is referred to as Alcides and who is Alcides? Alcides is another name for Hercules. Okay, now there is a reference here. References Hercules had rescued a Trojan princess who was being sacrificed to a sea monster. And when the Trojan princess was being sacrificed to a tree, sea monster, all the people of Troy, the women included, were crying. So here what is the comparison or how is the comparison made? Basanio 
is just like Hercules. He is moving forward to save Portia from the sea monster here is the casket. So that he can take Portia's portrait from the right casket. And just like the people of Troy were shedding tears, here the people of Belmont, they will be also shedding tears. Understand the comparison clearly? Then young Alcides, there goes Bassanio, just like young Hercules. When he did redeem, there is the word redeem here. Redeem means save. When he did save, the virgin tribute, the Trojan princess, who was being sacrificed, to a sea monster and the entire city of Troy was crying, howling. I am that Trojan princess. I stand for sacrifice and the rest that you see all around the place, they are the Dardanian wives. Dardanian Trojan wives. They are the Trojan wives. They are just like the Trojan wives. Dardanians because Trojans were the descendants of Dardanus, so Dardanian wives with bleared visages. See the word bleared visages. Visages meaning faces, bleared meaning tear, teary. So the rest, the Dardanian wives, that is the people all around, they have their eyes full of tears. Why? Because they have come to view the issue. Issue means result of this exploit, of this deed that is being that is happening go hercules hercules is your basanio go hercules live thou i live as as long as you live i will live with much more dismay i view the fight than thou that makest the fray i am seeing this contest that you choose the right casket with more fear than you who is actually taking part in the contest in the fray in the fighting your fighting is choosing the right casket so basanio go because i have more fear than you have because she knows that she doesn't want to lose basanio in any way music is sounded and when basanio is choosing the casket there is a song that is played the song says tell me with fancy bread in the heart or in the head. Now what is the meaning of the word fancy? Fancy means love. Okay. Tell me where love originates. Bread. Where does love originate? Some say love originates here from the heart. Some say it originates here from the head. The intellect or the emotion. How begot? How is it produced? How is it nourished? How is it brought up? Reply, reply. How does love grow? Love grows through the eyes. The more you look at your beloved, your love becomes all the more. The more the beloved looks at you, your love grows. It is engendered in the eyes. The meaning of the word engendered is it is born in the eyes. Love is born in the eyes. With gazing, it is fed. You go on and on looking at each other, you the love becomes all the more. And then when you look away from each other, automatically the love dies in the cradle where it lies. Love is born from the eyes and love dies in the eyes itself. In the cradle means where it was born. Where was love born? Love was born in the eyes and in the eyes itself, love dies. Let us all ring Fancy's knell, knell meaning the death bell of fancy. Let us all ring fancy's knell. I'll begin with ding dong bell. Let us, that's all over. Let us ring the bell where fan, when fancy is dead. Ding dong bell. And now Basanio comes in front of all the caskets. He has to choose the right casket. So then, before choosing any of the casket, he talks about appearance and reality.
Thank you.